Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to open the Sophie and Tuffy pixie box with the theme Galaxy. As always, we are first greeted with the booklet and underneath it is this tissue paper with this cute sticker they nowadays add. And I'm always trying to be really careful to not rip the tissue paper too much so I can use it again for sending packages. First up we have this makeup brush which is really soft and has this really pretty swirly glittery handle and I think this will be excellent to apply powders into molds. Then they included this blue foil which is I think kind of like gold foil pieces but as you can see in blue and this is really pretty and shimmery. And our mold that we get is this sphere mold and it has a flat bottom but it's a one piece sphere mold which I really appreciate because that means you don't have any lines that you have to send. I'm just a bit worried about it being so thin and soft. We also get this slightly color shifting pigment which changes from like a bluish green to like this purple and pink. And then we also have this crushed glass in this like reddish coppery tone. And we also get nail embeds and these are tiny rhinestones in pink and these like little golden moon shapes which totally fit the galaxy theme. And we also get one alcohol ink in violet. Next we have these nip refills for ballpoint pens which lets me think that we actually have a pen mold in here. And they also included these handy tweezers with this like rainbowy oil spill effect on them. And these are super fine on the tip which will help apply embeds and anything of that kind. And we also get this light stand and this one is a bit different than the fairy garden one because it's a bit taller and only has two LED strips but it also has like a really beautiful warm light. Next up we have this cute little sun mold which is a flat mold and it has this like circular ridge in it and I think you can either use this as a decoration piece for hanging up or something or actually use it as a tiny coaster which I think I will use it for. Then we have another mold and this one has some stars in various sizes. And I'm glad to see that I was right and we got a pen mold. Mine has been a bit deformed from all the other stuff in the box pressing on it, but I don't think that will matter much. And we also get these tiny keychain astronaut molds. These have some really cute poses, but I don't think I will ever use them because I don't think they would fit on my keychain. And we also get these open bezels in planet shapes with a little star on the top. This mold is the last one in the box and I'm actually really excited about this one because this shows the moon phases and you can like make multiple of these and have the whole moon phases as a decoration piece. And we also get these really cool rainbow astronauts and these are so shimmery. And I also like that there's some stars and planets and moons on the bottom of this which you can use if you don't really like having astronauts in your pieces. And then we get this, I'm not sure what this is, I think it's a card or something like that or an embed and it has these really beautiful planets with the solar system. Lastly we get this astronaut embed. And this is just a tiny astronaut figure made out of resin that you can put into your piece. And then we also get these stars in the back and 
these golden stars I think would look really cute for example at the end of a pen. And on their card we can see all of the things we should be getting in the box and apparently you had the chance to get two different brushes, a purple one and this greenish turquoise one which I've gotten. And now that we've seen everything that comes in this box, let's start on some projects. And the first thing I will make is this planet or sphere mold. And I wanted to have the moons that we got from the nail art set on the outside of this mold, but I wasn't sure how to secure them. And since this mold is really flimsy, I decided to just make a casing of one layer of UV resin that I swirl around and then cured while I was turning it. And after that I could just apply the moons to it. Then I just chose some random colors and pigments and mixed them into some one-to-one -one resin that I got in a previous box of them and I chose this like turquoise color, this pinkish color and purple and I also mixed some black and I'm just pouring them in one after the other in random patterns and I really hope that they won't swirl too much so you can see them on the outside and not have them mix into each other. And you can already see the moons on the outside are really visible, which I wanted because I knew if I would have mixed it into the resin, you just would have never been able to see them and they would have sunk to the bottom. I also decided to try another variant where I also made a shell and then I swirled the colors around on the outside with UV resin and I cured that. And then I filled the rest in with black. For the pen mold I'm using some UV resin and I'm just mixing some random colors and pigments together that I found and thought would look nice together and I decided to also use the purple iridescent glitter that we got in, in the box. And with this mold I'm basically just swirling it around and just placing it randomly without a pattern until the mold is full and then I wipe off the excess and cure it. And I try to poke out the air bubbles a bit that are on the overhangs. After the pen is cured I'm demolding it and I have to say this was a really hard task. I struggled so much but in the end it turned out really really beautiful. I just got a little hole in the front from an air bubble, but the rest of this pen looks really great. And here you can see all of the spheres I made. Now this is the first one and I realized I had too much pigment powder in the violet and it sank so that makes the pattern on the top, but I think it looks really cool. As for the second one, the pink I used got really orange in my resin when it got hot, so I think that ruined it a bit. But I made some more because I had so much fun with it and with this one I made a shell and then applied some of the gold pieces and just dry brushed on some mica pigments to make this like really swirly galaxy effect. And lastly I wanted to make one that works with the light base so I'm just used a callings and this one the shell is covered on the inside with these stars and if you put it on the light base you can really see the color separation and the swirls. And I think this one turned out so pretty. What I basically just did was layering the colors and just pouring it into the middle and then just let it sink how it wanted once it cures and it gave this really cool effect. With the leftovers I had from the pen and the spheres I made first of all these two suns which one of them I might hang up. This one I might use as a just coaster for like tiny bottles or something like that. And I think they turned out really cute for just being leftover pieces with some mixed resin colors. And then I have these moon phases and I have the ones um, with this like glitters from the pen I made. And then I have the darker ones with just the black from the inside of some of the spear molds that I had left over. And I think they fit really well together and I might hang them up in this order that I've shown you right now. And lastly here are the pens that I made and you can see the top one I made on camera, the bottom one 
I made myself with just some random glitters and colors and I just trimmed off the excess resin and I think they look beautiful and they write actually pretty well and they lay in your hand also pretty well. So I'm really glad that these molds actually work because I was a little worried that the pen might stop to write because of resin leaking or something like that. And this was everything of today's project. Now to my opinion of this box. I think this box was really well curated. We had a lot of molds that really fit the galaxy theme and you can really have a lot of freedom with what you make in the spheres. You can do landscapes, you can put the astronaut in and make a light uh, up globe thing and so on and so on. So. I'm really happy with this box. I think the glitters were really well uh, chosen to fit the theme. I think the pen mold was an interesting addition. I wouldn't have expected that one, but I really liked it unexpectedly because I was always really, really skeptical about them working and actually feeling well in the hand. So yeah, I am super happy with this month's pixie box and I hope you also liked my project. And I have to admit at this point I actually ordered a second one of those sphere modes and I'm constantly using them just to make spheres because I think they make great Christmas gifts and they're so beautiful and versatile. I really really like them. And they're really low maintenance since you don't have to sand any gaps from a two part mold or something like that. And they actually stand up pretty well. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below if you've gotten this box or if you have any ideas what else you can put in the sphere molds. As I said, you can really make anything in them. So if you have any ideas on what I can make inside one of the sphere molds, I might try that in a future video. Anyways, I hope you're having a great day. Bye!